Let me give you a little statistics here. The pension board for Detroit's police and fire, they've got about $2.8 billion in that fund. However, 100,000 of that is invested in the WWE, making them shareholders. So, some don't like the fact that Vince McMahon, the founder, and he had some problems with sexual abuse allegations, they didn't like the fact that he, they say, illegally manipulated himself to get back in control of the WWE. Here's Coleman Young, he's on the board. Well, what I want Vince McMahon to do is I want Vince McMahon to leave the company. Councilman Coleman Young is an ex officio member of the Police and Fire Retirement Board for the city of Detroit. And yes, part of the investments for the pension funds of Detroit's police and fire invested in the WWE. Is this wrestling a good investment for the Detroit police and fire pension? Absolutely. It's one of the great American companies. I think the problem is the behavior of Vince McMahon. In a 33-page class action complaint filed against Vince McMahon and the WWE, Detroit's pension board alleges that 77-year-old McMahon, who has owned 81% of the WWE since 1982, left the company in July of last year after he allegedly paid $12 million in secret settlements to accusers dating back to 2006. I personally think that anytime you hear the word sexual assault and rape, you need to stop what you're doing and you need to disassociate yourself with that person and your company. But the complaint alleges that McMahon used his controlling shareholder interest to fire three board members, change the bylaws, and put himself back in charge. Now he's trying to sell the company illegally, I believe. Um, and you know, to the Saudis, one, but also to uh, the Khans, who also own AEW, which is the competitive rest, which is a competitor to WWE in terms of wrestling. A reference to Tony Khan, whose family owns Flex and Gate Auto Parts and the Jacksonville Jaguars. And some wrestling fans not happy with all this litigation. You know, whether it be The Rock, whether it be Triple H, I'm a gigantic fan, whether it be Chris Jericho, you know what I mean, whether it be Daniel Bryan, you know, I'm a huge wrestling fan. Can you say, so uh, this, this is breaking my heart here to see this, Charlie. He does a good imitation of The Rock, by the way. Yeah. Uh, anyway, um, so let me reiterate what's really going on. We've got the Detroit Pension Fund. Now, they can invest in many, whatever. many, whatever they want to. One of them is a publicly traded company called WWE. Now, they've got $2.8 billion in Detroit's Police and Fire Pension Fund, and only 100000 of it is invested in the WWE. And in a statement from the pension board, they said, it's not the money, it's the principle of fiduciary responsibility, corporate responsibility. Now, I'm still waiting for a response from the WWE or Vince McMahon. He didn't get back to me. So $100,000 of it is invested in WWE. How much binding power does someone like Mr. Young or the city have when it comes to telling Mr. McMahon, hey, we don't like the way you're doing stuff here. Well, that's the power of the lawsuits, is that you can be a little person here, which arguably they are, right. but if you allege a legally sufficient claim, and this is a class action lawsuit, so it could involve a lot of other people that may have invested in the WWE. They don't like the fact that there was a, there's a law in Delaware right. that may have been manipulated by Vince McMahon, allegedly. So then the WWE would have to pay out They'd all pay. of these people. Or go and reverse the bylaws and Vince Vince McMahon would be out. Wow. That's ultimately what they want. We'll see what happens. Yeah. It's just starting. As they say, more to come on this. More one. to come for sure. <laughs> By the way, the WWE is going to be here on Friday. I saw wow. that. Yeah. You, you, you can go to it. Okay. So this lawsuit will not affect that. All right. Yeah, the wrangling will continue on the mat and in the halls of City Hall and elsewhere. Absolutely. Charlie Langton, Thank First Live. Thank you. Charlie.